All right, welcome back to round two of Operation Fallen Tree. We're going to get started here in a second. Uh, Militia was able to eliminate all Russians first round, but only after Russia was able to complete their main objective. Once again, Operation Fallen Tree is a Russia versus Militia, militia operation where Russia has to search and destroy the uh, Militia FOB and mainly destroy the scout car um, that is parked within the compound. Basically overwatch on this sniper marker. Man, I'm kind of sad about the solo since he's But we're rolling to round two here. Okay. It does look like Militia okay. is uh, opting for the we're train. Copper, boys. Congratulations. Station. Yeah. Mm, yeah. The train station. Like, I mean, militia is opting for the train station. Once again, Militia gets one of six locations to choose from. And it does look like they're going to be backing up the scout car into the main compound. Or parking it outside. I guess they're just going to park it there for now. Alright, let me check the kits real quick. But yeah, for those of you viewed, tuning lab, in for the medic, first time, this is the official squadops.gg broadcast coming to you almost every Wednesday and Saturday at 6 p.m. Pacific. All right, that's right. I don't know why um, I was tripping. Once again, for that's our official broadcast, we do have the multicam just, yeah, where we are showing off different video. perspectives, uh, and we're able to do that thanks to our great the, uh, mixer behind the so scenes, so Penn. So big thank you to Penn here. for mixing the streams, uh, the official streams. As we cycle we through here on the first person cameras, you can get a little taste of what that multicam is like. We're able to get an overview with the spectator cameras as well as first person uh, recordings of what is actually going on in real time. Very cool stuff. Very cool stuff. You know, we'll do one, two, three. But yeah, it does look like militia is opting for the uh, train station. Thank you. Once again, the main objective um, is for Russia to destroy the scout car and for Militia to protect the scout car. Uh, we're going to show you the Operation Overlay now, which is uh, a little outdated, but uh, we'll send it to you right now. Uh, we've updated. We keep our operations up to date every patch, making sure that we fix them with the new assets, make sure things are balanced and fun. But uh, as we go through this current Operation Overlay, you can see that the BTR on the Russian side has been replaced with the 30 millimeter MTLB, and the uh, and the uh, scout car for militia has been brought down from two to one. So those are the major changes we made to the operation document. Um, as you can also see, the six potential locations for the. Uh, cash they've chosen the southwesternmost position the train station uh previously round one militia had chosen the mine but we'll see how uh, militia decides to defend the train station it's kind of similar in that there's one big building to defend but how uh but the uh, area around train station is more uh open as you can see here as we do a big zoom out uh the train station has a bigger compound more buildings to defend from whereas the mine has a singular compound. However, it does have good overwatching hills. All right. Well, we got the plan. Go ahead and win. We'll do a platoon brief here in a few minutes. Go ahead and get your guys so they stop dicking around. We'll get them lined up and ready to go. Okay. Yeah, I got to finish my kids. All right. Xbit on the Russian team is now live. He is going to be commanding for the Russians. We'll roll through the squad leaders and commands here real fast. For the Russians, we have Merrick squad leading, oh, Nasty Nate through. squad leading, oh, Pure I, Paradise I, squad leading, Truth I'm Realm, and as command for the Russian team, we have Xbit, and he's going to be managing the squads, making sure he gets his objective completed. On the flip side, looking at Militia, the squad leaders for Militia are Silas, Best Pony, Hitchens, Burns, and the command for Russia, or excuse me, the command for Militia is Shadowed Ritual. So we'll be seeing uh, how... Um, Shadow handles the defense. Previously, we witnessed uh, Xbit's defense. Sure we now we're going to see how yeah, I'm gonna Russia, a or I'm, excuse me, Shadow Ritual handles his defense. Russians now starting their platoon brief. Before squad ops begins, before our operations go live, both teams take time to formulate a plan, get that plan uh, sent across their squads, and uh, do a platoon briefing, which is what we're going to uh, watch right now. 
Whoa, 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 putting your binoculars on his eyes? What kind of moisturizer you use? Your skin so smooth. Nivea. Nice. Am I the only ah. one that plays that Good. highest DPI? I just rubbed myself. No, I play that. What's your, what's your DPI? The, uh, max. I don't know, what are you but talking the light about? on my uh, mouse no is one... blue, so it means it must be pretty high. No one's, no one's got uh, DPI. No, that's I the hottest, that's the hottest DPI. Computer. Holy shit, that's dude, so if hot. I play on this high DPI, I would... My oh, DPI is not the place to the yard. I just jumped over. Oh, no, my mouse is green. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, right. It's better. Copper DPI. Are we get started? I'm we waiting for four. That? How stupid oh, okay. does this look? Is this what we done? I think Truth is passing out candy bars or something. It's a real power play. So then native children. What is it, fucking Halloween? Oh yeah, they're all standing on top oh, of the hill, is. staring down at us. Oh, oh fuck, I'm dizzy. Hey, dip. Wait, cool. We still got everybody, we just lost or a person, right? Yeah. Is, am I spinning insanely fast? Correct. Yes. Okay. No. Yes. You're just, no, you're actually just like, clipping from angle to angle. Oh, really? It's not fluent, wait, no, it's clipping. Uh, yeah, it's very clipping. They're coming. Alright, make sure you check all your guys for optics. If I spin really fast and you guys like it sounds so weird. Yeah? Like we're inside your head? A little bit, yeah. All right, guys. All right, let's do a platoon brief here. Uh, Militia's still out there someplace Jesus, getting busy. set up. Uh, welcome back to Operation Fallen Tree, or whatever. <laughs> uh, this time we're the Russians. So we're going to be uh, we're going to do this in three phases. Phase one, of course, is we need to uh, find and locate or make contact with the enemy. Second phase is to maneuver the platoon in position to assault, and the third phase is to assault wherever the location or the B BRDM is found at. So to accomplish this, we're going to have the platoon leave on foot out of Maine here. We're going to head west along the road with squad lead, uh, squad one in the lead, squad two following, squad three uh, behind them, and squad four. So one, two, three, four. We'll do a platoon column. We're going to cross the river to the north somewhere around Echo 5-3. And then we'd, once we hit into the, get into the hills, we're going to uh, break out into a uh, platoon uh, line. Uh, one, two, three across. So one on the left, two in the middle, three on the right, and four will be in reserve. Uh, once we hit that line, we should be able to either make contact or have eyes on to their first position, which is here marked. That's uh, the general area where their first uh, hiding spot is. Uh, if we don't get contact, we'll go ahead and cross the platoon over online, get into the hills north of the road, and then we will pivot uh, to the west. Uh, one will stay in the bottom down here, two in the middle, three up top. From here, we should be able to gain eyes on hilltop encampment, be able to see sandbags, or actually, you know, they might actually push some troops out. We may get contact crossing the valley. Uh, if that's the case, then we obviously know they're in hilltop. If we don't get contact, we can continue to moving west uh, with two moving towards Ammo Hill. Squad one should be able to get eyes on mine entrance on the south, and three should be able to cross over to Hilltop and be able to get glass. Uh, once they cross over, they may be able to get uh, some eyes on Fortress. Uh, we'll just keep moving west. Uh, obviously, if they're not in mine entrance or Hilltop encampment, that means they're in the last three locations, which are Train Station, the, uh, the first OP, and uh, fortress. So once we get into the ammo hill range of mountains there, we'll go ahead and keep the platoon formation going. Uh, we may lay, load up one of the squads or two of the squads in the vehicles. Uh, we get the MTLB 30 mil or a trans truck and we will maneuver you guys appropriate depending on where we see the contact at. So uh, since we're assaulting and the militia has a large, large amount of firepower, it's important that you guys stay spread out, that you, you know, stay in cover, concealment, you don't skyline, you don't push yourself over the hill if you don't need to. Uh, listen to your fire team, fire team leads and your squad leaders. Um, I'll go ahead and sort you guys out. But like, once again, uh, don't get caught in the open because once they focus all that firepower, they can obliterate a squad within seconds. So uh, just be careful out there. So that's the general plan. We're going to head north and then uh, platoon line ourselves to the west. And then based on wherever the location is, you guys will have orders come down to you and maneuver around. So uh, if we do find ourselves finding in buildings such as hilltop encampment and fortress and train station, 
Working buddy teams. Have one guy clear it with a grenade and then rush it with guns a blazing. Uh, you know, spray the corner, spray everything. If a grenade goes off, it might spook them a little bit. They may run off. They may counter grenade, but whatever. Uh, use aggression when clearing buildings. If you get into the basements in Hilltop Encampment or Fortress, same thing. Save your grenades. Save them for those uh, hallways down there. Grenade it, then rush it. All right. Any questions about the general plan? I got a question outside. Yep. Is is that the last round of operation? Yep. This will be the last round, so let's make it count. Marco, got it. All right, we're starting briefing over here. It was super close, but we we got the objective completed. We just didn't survive the entire time. But whatever. Uh, now it's our turn to hold that prize BRDM, which we have now wedged inside of a storage container. <laughs> so the plan is as follows. Squad 1 will be watching our north side of train station, making sure they don't get anybody on the hills north of them. Squad 2 is going to take up a position on the west-southwest side with an MG nest. Squad 3 is going to be on the point proper, basically popping up this building. And Squad 4 who has the hat, will be proceeding east as fast as possible to try and take out um, any M2B that tries to, like, maybe if they cross where we're crossing or if they come from a direct east. No point is going to be a hardened up position except Squad 3, who's going to be just preparing this place for fallback. If you uh, lose all uh, command comms, you are to head back to these buildings, and you're going to harden up in here and wait for them to come out. We've got defender's advantage, so we're going to use it. Uh, mines are basically wherever you want, the, or wherever the squad lead tells you to place. They're probably just going to be on this MSR somewhere, just scattered around. And uh, same with ADs. Uh, just listen to where your squad lead is, or if you have a suggestion, just shoot it to your squad lead. And if, if you get the go ahead, go for it. Are there any questions? Cool. No questions. Squad leads, break them out for final details. We will call for live. All right, looks like Militia has set their plan. They are, uh, once again, the objective for Militia is to protect this scout car, which they have so neatly placed within a storage container. And we'll get situated in Charlie 6, keypad 7, looking eastbound. Any questions? Did you, did you see the outside of the crate over here? The tire sticks out. Oh, that's on the other side now. Ideas on mine placement. Moth, if you need a respawn, that's fine. No, I'm not gonna You'll take one, so you have, have a No, you, you can have two dish guns. You have a dish techie and the dish gun. In case you need a bug Copy. out. Every other, everything Moth, else is gonna move, go inside. Take the SPG. Yes, like, that yeah, doesn't yeah, move I'll at all. So. Yeah, it's more powerful. All right, so both teams have finished their briefings. We're gonna set for live here and uh, get ready here. Two will get a dish techie, or an SPG techie. Everybody else will put a techie inside this building with three, and we're just gonna hold down. Can you stick corners. the fob in like the this like corner, so that way I can push that uh, dish up there as far out as I can. Go. Thanks. Look at middle. Both teams are ready. Live will be set momentarily. Yes. Yes, just it in the hold on, we still got some yes. prisoners stuck. Okay, Rose, wait, what gun do you have, Rose? Dude. It's probably, what, 90 second respawn, so mm -hmm. factor that in and we can go. My guys have Looking right up. here, we have yeah. one of the assets for Militia. It is the no, no, Dishkateki. This is a fire support vehicle and transport vehicle. It holds a capacity of five players. It's got great speed. It's good for hit and run tactics as it is relatively weak. However, if you are able to catch enemies on the flank, this vehicle can cause a lot of damage before enemies react. Moving on, the second technical that Militia gets is the SPG. Where is it? <laughs> Where did they put it? <laughs> Where'd they Make put? Sure oh, it's back here. Here we go. The second, um, the second asset that Militia gets is the SPG technical, as you can see here. It is loaded with an SPG recoilless rifle, which is used as an anti-tank weapon. Just like the original Dishka Techie, it is very fast but very weak, catching vehicles and infantry on the flanks and then moving on from its current location. Put him in that cave and tell them not to get out. All right, yeah, live on Twitter. My comms are still Comrade, spotty. 
or a Russian. I'll get it. Does one get a dish get techie? Negative, unless you want one. Do you Copy. want one? Uh, I got my guys loaded up in one. All right, and all squads are ready. We're going to be live in about 35 uh, seconds here. 35 uh, seconds. We're probably not going to get there in that time because we're on foot and they're 30 seconds in the, uh, now. Vehicles. We got live time in right. 30 seconds. Exciting so times. Exciting, exciting times. Six, yeah, good seven or eight. Uh, I'm checking eyes to the east. Gone. Same as before. Prepare. Um, your tip is a little deformed, sir. I mean, we're live 15 anyways. It's angles so that I can fire from here and hit there. Live in 10 seconds. NPLB. Oh, it's an R. Yeah, I see. Hat, Hand right. mortar. Live in five seconds. Baller. I think we're gonna just dump it alive. Copy. And squads are now live. Both teams uh, pushing out. Once again, Militia opting for right, the train so station of all locations to put their uh, the fob, marks. fob down. We'll see where the Russians are pushing. Gone. Thank you. Expit on the Russian right, team yeah, now, sending his troops out. Seven, we'll three, see. Three, He's opting three, for that direct two, north seven, bridge, it looks like. No transport. Just an empty transport. He's putting his platoon in a column as they push out as a complete team. I've got a nice overview here of the entire Russian team. <laughs> Someone got fish hooked right there. Yeah, man, I'm good to play stuff, right? My discretion. Get a little tail swipe by yeah, the MTLB. Merrick out in the front here, leading the charge, a brave squad leader in Delta front five, of his infantrymen. Now pushing five, westbound. Six -ish area. Stay to the left side of the hill, okay? Don't crest. Just a cool shot this of all these Russians crossing the bridge. And yeah, let's see uh, what the uh, militia has set up on defense. Can't all fit in the vehicle. Let's take a look. See, let's just mosey on over here. Uh, negative, I'm pulling back. Muff, live now. I feel very inadequate with he is the farthest area. east on the uh, east side for militia. One, they far, might actually be able, able to see the Russians water. coming down the uh, river bend here. Spread out a little bit, guys. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. I'm thinking they You guys will hear the NW long before you see it. And we're not hearing it, which means it probably went north. But yeah, they might be able to see. Uh, they might have even seen them cross the river on the bridge, actually, if there's a squad leader up here. It doesn't look like there is, however, so that's still unfortunate. There's a lot of intel that could have been had right there. The objective, once again, for this operation is for Russians to uh, push past the militia defenses. And destroy the scout car in train station. The scout car, of course, being so very neatly placed within this blue container. Are we free to engage if we see enemy D? Self defense only right now. And the militia has to defend the location. If you can get a good ambush on it, set up a double lat shot. But otherwise, just hold fire. But yeah, it looks like uh, Russians now pushing down the north side of the river westbound. I think only one hit Got pretty much the entire squad here. Merrick once again still leading the charge. As a squad leader, you have to make that decision. Are you going to lead the charge, get that information, and relay it to command? Or are you going to send one of your uh, standard riflemen on point? Go ahead. Once you clear it off village, go ahead and move to the northwest and check the lumber camp area in Echo 4 8. Stay short, stay short. Merrick scanning. Looks like he's trying to get an ID to see if it's on mine, but he's uh, going to quickly realize that there are no militia forces on mine. One, did you get your uh, MG down and all that? You good? Go ahead and cross.
across the road to the north. Looks like mine is empty. Uh, sorry, what was that, man? You get your MG down and everything done? Yeah, MG's down, and bags around it. My techie's cool. safe and sound. Merrick now getting a little bolder now that he hasn't seen any militia forces. He's going to push closer to mine. Still trying to get a positive ID on if the cache is inside. See where the rest of uh, Russia. TLB is northeast of mine trance. He thinks he hears it. All of Russia here set up. Yeah, nice big spread. Trench. Looks like Russia's just going to take it slow and sweep through the valley. There is a squad here uh, watching the flank, making sure that no technicals come barreling down this, uh, road just north, of this north road. Clear still. Let's take a look at what Militia's cooking up as we zip on over. What the hell was that? Hey Shadow, I'm having comms issues. I got a fire team leader I trust a squad lead. Do you mind if I toss him comms? Um, yeah, I guess that's fine. All right, yeah, I just can't hear you guys very well, and I, I'm having trouble communicating with my squad, so I'm going to toss them. Oh, good oak. Pretty quiet. Down here, you know, they're like, fuck, where are they? You know, Muff over here on this like eastern like, hill, still scanning the valley with his RPG kit. Yeah, if they went counterclockwise, it's going to be a rough time for them. Clockwise. Clockwise. Merrick now pushing out on the west. Uh, the rest of my fire team needs to regroup at this point, so I'm going to be holding for them. I copy that too. All right, logging hands. So oh, for those of you who are just joining, this is a squad ops one life operation. One life right, meaning... When you are down, you are out for the count. You then jump into the spectator cam, which is what you're witnessing right now uh, on my screen. Uh, to join Squad Ops or to watch more Squad Ops, check out youtube.com slash squad ops or twitch.tv slash squad ops, the official Squad Ops channels where you can get uh, trailers, VODs from previous streams, and all kinds of Squad Ops content. Uh, squad Ops is an open community. We, uh, we allow anyone to watch and play. So if you want to learn more about Squad Ops, head over to squadops.gg. Uh, right, squad Ops also does a monthly giveaway for Squad. Uh, the link is in the Discord as well as in the chat on Twitch.tv. So if you're looking to get a copy of Squad, check out Squad Ops at Twitch.tv slash Squad Ops to earn a uh, Squad key. Both teams here kind of taking it slow. Uh, if anyone has any questions regarding squad ops, I'm asked. I'm also here. This is Karma Cut. For those of you that don't know, this is uh, Karma Cut. I am the founder and director. I almost said dictator. <laughs> I'm the squad ops founder and director. Um, and I, I help to keep uh, everything fresh, new, making sure new ideas are pushed every day, and uh, enabling us to go forward into the future in the right direction. A reminder that the uh, overlays that we have done are done by our wonderful content creation team uh, with Penn, Nash, Matter, and uh, a few others. Um, but we also have some nice overlays at the top right, as you can see right now. Uh, it says Karmica. That is the name of the right, camera so you are watching. So as we flip around, like I said, we do have multi-cameras. Uh, you will see that name change, and that is the camera of the person you are watching. Yeah, like right about there. I just want to see... How exposed? Oh, I'm like stupid. How old are you? I'm 22. Chest up. I'm a ripe young 22. <laughs> are you a dev of squad? No, I'm. I'm just a 
soul player and community leader. I am commanding from the MTLB. <laughs> Mike or the BRDM. Um, I can see, like, come back. All quiet on the fronts right now. Militia just digging in. They've got a nice spread. Uh, let's take a good overview of here with what's going on. As we zoom all the way out, we take a look at Militia. We can see that they've got forces on the west of the objective, forces on the east, and a squad in the hilt of the north. They've also got one squad on the point direct as they will be in charge of the main primary uh, defense. Looking at the Russians, we'll zip on over here and get an overview of, uh, of their strategy. Looks like they're sweeping all the way from southeast to northwest, which might mean that uh, train station is the last place to get checked. But as you can see, they're slowly making their way across the, uh, the valleys. It's really cool how when you zoom all the way out, you can okay. kind of see all those, one, all those lights. Commander? Or squad leader? No, yeah, no, that was, uh, that's he's a negative. He's having trouble communicating. No, he's, okay, he's I am still thinking here. of it as he is. Oh, come on. All right, nobody's seeing anything on the hilltop. But we're going to guess they're either fortress or... The yes, AD I am commentating the op. Xpit is now live. He is the commander of the Russians, and he is pushing his troops southeast to northwest, sweeping through Fool's Road trying to find where the militia placed their cash. Shadow Rich Troll live here inside the train station. Uh, once again, there are six locations where militia can choose to defend, uh, hence why the Russians are searching the entire map as they do not know what exact location the uh, cash is at. As we can see, Militia actually opting for some barbed wire on the defense. Some barbed wire in uh, some of these ideal locations could be pretty good. That is scary. You also have a technical hidden back here with a dishka facing the door. Look at that amount of detail. Look at that. I didn't realize that there are like ammo cans in the actual truck. Look at that detail. Shell casings. Oh, wow, you can even read the text on the side. The ammo cans. All right, we're going to move back out. Uh, we're going to zoom back out, see how far uh, Russia has gotten along here now. They are taking their uh, sweet, dedicated time as they ensure that they are not missing a spot. Not a single spot will be missed as they sweep through this valley in almost a uh, wedge formation. Four, you, you, can you can see there's one squad leading the charge in the front and then a flanking squad no on either side to the rear of the like left said, and right. Four, the the off, MTLB and, and the transport are all the way back here, actually. I do believe they're uh, you need to think about this. over here. Just for the empty? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what's the MTLB the, squad uh, holding it in the back. Where, it My us? thinking the is that the west. MTLB and transport will rush into the fight at a location a to flank the once the infantry squads go. reach contact. That is what I am predicting. If they get within um, meters, then but we know about Russia it, holding this line pretty well, as we can see here. As we zoom out, there's a very nice line here by Russia, making sure that they sweep through the valley. There's only two... My or scratch three remaining locations that Russia, Russia has not checked yet, and that would be the fortress in the northeast, the hill on the west, and the right, train we'll station. The over there to the east, just, and then we've got the SPG to the west. I think that'll work. Yeah, the SPG. I have an SPG lat tag team that will absolutely fuck them up if they come west. Plus, there's that mine on the road, okay. which they might hit. That'll also give us early warning of coming west with the mine. As we push around here, just looking, John. Thank you so much. I think this is the first I time appreciate your donation, lines. John. Thank you so much. Nah. Actually, were yeah, hat I don't and scouts remember. introduced at the same time? I don't remember. Last no, hats were introduced hat. in D9. Okay, then yeah, this may be the first time we've done this off of mines. Yep. Because I think the last time we ran it was like right after 9 drop. Hey, we Karma, love your streams. I applied for ops and cannot wait to play with you any other ops. From an active duty Marine, Ura. Thank you, Italian kid. Really do appreciate that. Thank you for the, don the donation.
All right, looks like first contact is coming up here. This left squad on the uh, Russian line is pushing pretty dangerously close. Let's see what's uh, let's see what squad leaders over here. Looks like Silas is uh, over here on this hill. However, Silas has passed squad leader comms over to Kenneth as he is having some technical difficulties. He will be going up against Merrick's squad. Merrick's squad leading the charge on the west here. And as these guys get within 300 meters of each other, someone's going to get spotted. Most likely the Russians as the militia are in place and are scanning this hill already. So uh, we'll see. I'm expecting first contact within the next five minutes here. Let's zip on over here and uh, see if they actually have any local comms regarding uh, any contact. Merrick has the, uh, spotted uh, enemy uh, infantry uh, on this hill. He has seen the militia. He's going to probably be relaying that over his command comms to XBIT, and the whole Russian line information will shift to reflect this information, hopefully pointing towards the southwest, towards the train station. I fired one shot. I think I got him. Contact goes up. One tap. Takes out Dark Wolf at distance. Who got that shot? Who was that? Merrick. Merrick making a dirty, dirty one tap across the valley. Takes out the first casualty so, yeah. on militia, Dark Wolf. More rounds open up here from Russia. Militia taking fire. They're going to get pushed off of this hill. Infantry. Infantry. Just engage targets of opportunity. West or left. Copy. As we take a look at the mini map here. Squad one engaging squad one from either uh, team engaging right, each other so across the valley. Charlie squad two from the Russia, the red team, team is pushing on the northeast or scratch one. northwest flank. And squad three and the MTLB squad are pushing fast. I'm assuming that XBIT is going to mount squad three into the uh, MTLB and transport and push them over into this location. XBIT obviously squad five behind the line making the calls. Squad one trading shots with each other. Across oh, the valley, okay. militia is pinned. They do not. No, they have not there. sent any uh, rounds back. But yeah, I'm assuming as it looks like Squad Three is going to mount up into the MTLB, and Xbit will rush both vehicles mounted full with 18 players down towards the engagement. However, militia does have a mine set up right here on this road. We'll see if this gets spotted. Let's see how how well it's been hidden. Where is it? I can't even see it. Is it up here? Up here? Oh, is that it? Or, Where is it? Um, is it? Is this it? There's, okay, you've got a scout on the far, far south, right? They're not going to slip by or stuff. Hey, firm, we got eyes along the east side as well. Oh, is this we it? This is it. North, this is the mine. Um, over look at how look at how small this thing is. This tiny little uh, yeah, go ahead and tiny mine could end up ruining uh, Russia's... East. Day. We'll see. That those squads are now mounted into those vehicles. They're gonna be coming over here in a second. Squad one from the militia now engaging squad one on the Russian team. Oh actually, no, they're not. They're actually pulling off that hill. They're gonna concede that hill to the Russians. <clears throat> we'll see if Merrick reads that play and decides to add on more pressure and take that hill from the militia. Technical setup here by the militia. Looks like a kind of reverse slope defense here as they're going to wait to see the uh, Russians come over the crest and knock them down with the Dishka. Pretty interesting play here by uh, Militia. To, uh, stay on the ridge. I'll fall back to the FOB. No, get off the ridge if you're taking too much contact. Shadow calls out over command comms for squad one on Militia to pull back off of this hill. They're going to completely concede this hill to the Russians. As we look at the map, squad one and squad two from the Russians, in addition with squad five, which is the command, are pushing in on this hill. Looks like Merrick did read that pressure getting pulled off of that hill, and he's more. calling for squad two Let's to push in and take ahead. that hill from the Russians. Or from the militia, excuse we want me. To push together all together as a platoon, so just hold. We can see as soon as Merrick called out that contact on that hill, Xbit took that information and immediately put into a plan where he could wrap the entire platoon around to get eyes on the uh, train station. As he's altered squads one to squad two to form that infantry skirmish line facing yeah. southwest, and he's mounted up the rear squads into the vehicles. Right. Check sandbags on the west, uh, southwest. Han Von Solo live from squad two now on southwest, that platoon yeah. line. Looking at that hill, they're not going to see too many militia as they, as they have backed that off. Be advisable to point a uh, LAT or a GL in that direction because it will get used. I see the sandbags are like what? Are you down yet? 
Russia not taking the time to check this road for mines, that infantry uh, squad on the hill, just completely okay, bypassing the, the mine. The mine's still on the road, right? Okay, copy. Never mind. Go ahead and pull off that hill entirely. Sneaky little thing, okay, I swear. You just stay up there to die. Where are you? Right here. Copy. The mine is still in place, and as we zoom all the way up to the north, we will see a fully loaded BTR and trans coming down this north road. And we'll see if the militia are able to knock out either the MTLV or a transport filled with Russian soldiers. So we'll see how lucky militia gets with this mine. I'm going to be on this mine like a hawk. about to hit the mine. But yeah, it's it's possible. They're probably doing that wide flank. Muff on this hill looking northwest, trying to get eyes on that Russian advance towards them. Uh, as we can see, uh, geez, this is a great skirmish line by Russians. If we zoom out here and take a look at the kind of lines that we have, uh, militia breaking off that hill almost entirely. Russia set up in a uh, half circle on the left-hand side. However, militia does have high ground across the street where they can overwatch and see if they cross into the lower parts of the valley in between them. This is going to be a very tricky way for uh, militia to uh, get some nice kills on Russians at the, as they advance. The one downside, of course, is if that MTLB rolls up without hitting the mine and is able to push militia off that hill. We'll see what happens and if... These vehicles, as they slowly make their way down, um, if they're able to push militia off that south hill. But right now, it looks like Xbit's calling for hold in the infantry platoon. Hey, He's going to hold his troops here, infantry, wait for additional no support the from the MTLB and Trans. Copy, infantry northeast. Okay. If we look over here at the MTLB, we can actually notice that the speed that, at which they're going is rather slow. They aren't gunning it down. So I'm curious to think if they're actually looking at the road or if they're looking for enemy contact like technicals or an RPG ambush. Because if their eyes are not on the ground, they're going to have a very nasty surprise for them about 300 meters down this stretch. But not much action I don't think is going to come out for a little while as Xbit is telling his infantry platoon to hold until further... Uh, assistance it does look like militia trying to fire back and harass a little bit but the overwhelming line here and fire support and numbers from russia is going to keep militia from doing any major, major damage there, so han von solo and squad two here the right hand flank of the infantry squads is taking some harassing fire from two infantrymen on the other side of the hill but uh i don't appear it doesn't appear like there's looking for a major engagement it looks like they're just trying to trade shots buy time and uh slow down the russians the building and like logs and shit over there as we zoom out here we can see red left side is Three Russian and there, blue yeah. on the right side right, pulling back is militia you can see militia now completely completing that order of to pull off that I oh, so my English is terrible blue is militia is actually deciding to pull completely off of that hill which was the order that was given about five uh, minutes ago so it looks like Russia is finally completely pulling off that hill we're gonna try to oh we're hearing shots to the northeast of one Russia direct north surprising me coming off the road and dismounting on this side hill. Once again, that's about two squads worth of infantry now on the west flank that have been deployed. We have squad two leader here over here watching this flank, best pony. If he's vigilant and he has his binocs out, he might be able to spot the entire Russian squad. Or the entire two Russian squads. Yeah, I feel that. Do we have any idea where this MCLV is at? These two Russians over here uh, trying to harass as much as possible. We're really Neil Brace, thank you so much for the $50 donation. I do appreciate that, man. I don't want to try and probe it with too much. Thank you very much for your $50 donation. Yeah, I saw that guy. There's a, there's a fire team over there. They're pulling off, I think. I hear him. Looking forward to our next game, bro Broski. Thank you so much. Squad 2 on the hill engaging the lone uh, harassers on the opposite side of the hill. Shit, I'm gonna die. Uh, they're, they're here with me. 
crawling back. There, there, there with you. Copy, copy. All right, so we got guys on our west. Infantry too. and the MTLB are here. I'm not, I'm not copy. either being shot. Go ahead and get position over on the west side, Alpha 5. Copy. Best pony West over East. here on the west. 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 We'll see if he decides to wait longer or if he decides to engage and take a couple with him. We're going to listen to command comms, but move on from this area. Last four is pushing east. No, four, you're getting, you're watching our east, but I want you closer to train. XB, extremely disciplined, extremely uh, diligent. He's ensuring that squads one and squads two do not move. Until the rest of his platoon gets online. And this is great restraint shown by Xbit. Not rushing in without the support of his other two infantry squads. He's ensuring that he has all squads online before he pushes in closer to the engagement zone. Two is still in shock right now. Pony is saying that they're moving on from him. So based on... I can't believe they missed Pony. Two, do you have upgraded, updated? This is what happens when you, you you slack a little bit. You, it's thirty minutes into the round. You don't think you're gonna have contact, but lo and behold, you could be walking by someone in a bush, and this could end up biting Russia badly. Two, are you alive? The MTLB is up here in the hill. Okay, so it's trying to travel on the edge of the map. What you're saying, not on the road? I think so. It might go that out on the road. Hold on, I'm gonna try and visual. Actually, I can't. No, I don't, don't think don't I can do it safely. It. As we yeah. zoom out here, we can yeah, see yeah, Xbit's plan coming to fruition. Yeah, He's gotten the entire Russian team now on a platoon line maybe from transfer. left to right. This line across the south end of or the uh, bottom side of my screen is all Russia. And we can see militia sensing that pressure, taking that contact on that hill. They have all fallen back to the south side. We're kind of flipped here. So the south is at the top of my screen. The north is on the south of my screen. Militia has now pulled back the majority yeah, of their infantry forces bridge. to so, uh, the south side already, of the of the road side. where train station actually is. So I'll copy too. Exhibit showing great control and great restraint throughout this uh, operation, ensuring that his forces do not push unneededly and waiting for the rest of his team to support. It's Crispy here, live on the Russian team. As you can see, everyone just settling into their positions, making sure they get their entire uh, line set. They're just waiting. They're being patient. They're uh, waiting for that command down, um, command comms for that platoon line to move as one, as a team, southbound towards the train station. And right. militia's just also, sitting there waiting, trying position, to get good uh, positions, trying to make sure that they have eyes uh, on those hills to catch Russia as they I crest. Eyes on contacts, south of Team 4, all in that wooded. On the chopped up wood area. Did you say Alpha and five, we can see now we almost have two lines from either team as we zoom all the way out here. South on my screen, north on my screen, militia right, on I the blue, Russia on the red. This, uh, there are almost two lines set up here, armor. and we're about to have an epic clash across the entire right, 500 the meter stretch five, from the left and right hand side of my like screen of an engagement the across the entire headed, uh, teams. Or the platoon is just north of them. I'm sorry. Copy that. So, Alpha 4 area south of 2. Uh, for make sure your scout is watching the, the Russian one. squad on the far down, west, like uh, the top left side of my screen, has called out that they have seen the militia the at the bottom left side of my screen in the woodlands like or in the uh, the lumber mill. Excuse me. Copy. So as you can see, Xbit now slowly pushing up his forces in the center side of my screen. He's now taking that hill that militia okay, set up, but note that he's only sending on one road. squad at a time, ensuring that that squad that's in movement has covering fire from the other three squads. Brilliant play and safe play by Xbit, moving one squad up under the cover of the other three. Okay, as soon as two is And set, that's how you have to play it. You're slowly bounding your squads up. If he was to push his entire platoon southbound as one online, he could run into massive issues 
whereas squads would be caught in the open with no Overwatch element. But he's playing it slow, taking hill by hill, making sure uh, every squad has Overwatch. Yeah, copy that. Uh, I got this on train station. I have enemy contacts inside of train station. All right, copy that too. Don't expose yourself. Let's get the MTLB One's up. Position. Yep. One, go ahead and start moving a little to the south to watch to east. We're gonna move the MTLB Come. up. Nasty Nate, a squad leader for Russia, has called out that he is a positive ID on enemy infantry within train. So expert must know for sure right now that the enemy has chosen train station, which he's already done, and you can see reflected in his platoon formation. I'm gonna go shoot a squad in the back now. I can't, I'm not staying here anymore. This is terrifying. Come on, the rest of those engagement. Best uh, Pony shoot. from Squad 2 and Militia is uh, coming in behind that platoon on the uh, far left. Kill, uh, As you can see, that kill, one uh, lone actually, dot at the far the back is coming up behind that entire Russian line. We'll see if uh, Pony's able to commit uh, or to cause a lot of Russian casualties before they find out that he's actually behind them. Skylining over the hill. Bro All squads from every team now are calling out contacts of Copy. opposite on the other side the of the road. We can see squad two now. Tracer fire going down so on train station world. and train station returning oh, fire. You can see the squad on the left in Lumber Mill also returning fire. We'll see if that Russian squad on the far left decides to engage as well. But the center squad is getting lit up and is uh, getting overwhelming fire from two elements. All, all militia squads right now are focused on hitting squad two, that center squad on that hill. You can see Tracy Fire coming in from the left, center, and right onto that one hill. Now, Xbit might be using squad two to get a positive ID on the remaining militia squads. For example, right here, we just saw tracers come in from the right and left sides of our stream, stream, which means that Russian forces along that north now know, and if they follow those tracers back, the exact positions of militia forces. And as we can see, Xbit... Using that information, pushing a squad up on the right, pushing a squad up on the left, but that center squad, as we talked about before, maintaining that overwatch, ensuring that these flanking the squads don't get caught with their pants down. We have a squad in Lumberyard. We don't know who it is. Is that the uh, one person we lost? Yeah, just Harry. Where was he? I got Copy. RPGs coming out. Trace to fire. From train, engaging on both squad one and squad two from Russia. Are we clear to open fire? Contacts is happening across the entire lines of both teams. Lumber mill engaging the opposite side of that hill on the west. The uh, center squads engaging each other from train in that hill, and the rightmost flank is also engaged. So we right now have a full team uh, wide engagement going on. Yo, Nuke, are you up? This is actually Bravo. very rare to happen in squad right, ops, where every back. single um, squad is in contact at the same exact time with elements across from them. This is the first line-on-line -line right, actual uh, engagement we've seen in a long, long time. Best Pony's still trying to come up here and try to flank, but uh, we'll see what happens. Sorry, I tried to tell you. Wait, do I face wall too? A lot of long-range engagements, probing. Being safe. As we can see, we see a bound happening over here on the far left of our screen. This is Russia moving a fire team, trying to probe, see if they can advance along the side. Militia in Lumber Mill now opening up on that squad crossing. Or that, uh, that, uh, fire team crossing. And that team is starting to take fire on the left. Yeah, men reorient on those logs towards the uh, southwest guys. And just that Overwatch down. squad, however, returning yeah, fire, uh, trying to pin whoever uh, with that defense. They start to push you is on the lumber mill. Russian forces trying to creep on the left. Kill, kill Once again, looking at Xbit's play as a commander, you can see how methodical and slow uh, he is. All squads, except for one, trying to probe an entry. West? He's very methodical, very slow, ensuring that uh, he has the maximum amount of coverage and overwatch before um, moving. And as we can see, large amounts of fire trading back and forth across the entire line. We got squads on the lumber mill, squads on the train yard, engaging Russians across directly. The 30 mil is now engaging an enemy technical over here on the hill. Be real fluid with it. Your 
All right, scratch. It's not technical. It's actually MG, and he goes down. We'll see if militia has to forfeit. RPG is coming in, trading back and forth. We'll see if uh, Russia is able to overwhelm the militia here with their uh, 30 millimeter. Disha on the train station itself, firing back on that center squad. We just have long range engagements being traded back and forth. Expert being extremely methodical. RPG shots going towards that center hill. RPG shot coming towards the lumber mill. And overshoots. Uh, I got no eyes for. I'm coming back. Expit finally sees that he is able to get move maneuvers done on the left. He's sending a second fire team to flank on the left. He is trying to take control of the lumber mill. Noting that the center hill and the right hill have still not moving an inch, making sure that they are suppressing what they can from their current positions. This squad on the left gaining a good amount of ground. Best Pony did engage over here, but he is down. Yeah, looks like two Pony was down. able to kill one, two, three, four players. So Pony one trades one for four on this flank. A good okay, amount of damage, but we'll see if it's enough. Russia making good time and good ground on this left flank. Expit just trying to get a... Uh, just trying to get an edge in on the west. You can see a saw here doing some major damage, suppressing the targets. We'll see if he's able to get out alive. He's getting return fire right now, but he isn't definitely. He does get shot once. If he gets shot again, that could be it. He's trying to bandage. Enemies on train station are moving eastbound. Bravo 5, keep that 9 now. Rounds just flying right in overhead. He's, he's going to try to move out again. He gets spotted. He's still taking rounds. Rounds coming within inches of him. He gets hit again. Right in the face, actually. I don't know how he's still alive. And he goes down. And Russia making some good ground on the left. We can see uh, militia forces slowly getting pushed back as Russia pushes a full squad onto this left flank. Uh, Once again, noting how well, Xbit is extremely so. methodical, not moving that center or right we flank until that left flank finishes its uh, maneuver. To fire onto the, uh, yeah. woods. He's, he's going to move over. There's guys in the, in the uh, metal roofing. I've seen through his big ass windows. Their scout car, or they have a techie. Copy, we lost, uh, Expert being extremely methodical, and it is paying off. The only one blunder or error that militia, or excuse me, Russia has had is missing best pony. IED goes off in the center of the road, but is not next to any Russian forces. Shots being traded over here on the right flank now. But I do believe that uh, Xbit did try to get um, a good foothold on that center hill, and it was able to reveal all squad, of the squad, militia positions as all there, so. flanks there, opened up on that center, that center hill, and that kind of bit them in the back as uh, as Russia pushed up, knowing where militia forces were, I don't know what the and taking is, the left flank. So Shadow playing extremely defensive and extremely safe. He pulled Dude, his entire lumber mill squad back into the, uh, train, train station. All right. The MTLB is okay. still up, I believe. Or is it not? Did it go down? Is it? Did they? Uh, no, no, the MTLB has shifted now to the center. Expeds planning on using the center hill as the base of fire. I'm assuming all other squads, left flank, right flank, will pivot off this center hill with the mtlb plus infantry support suppressing the train station directly that back left flank trying to suppress this hill a lot of long range engagements this round these are about 300 meter engagements maybe even uh, up to four Russia still making good pacing and good ground on that uh, left west flank. And pretty soon here, militia is going to get uh, locked into the compound uh, directly. Flank, we're not prepared for that, so. Which is still some yeah, light fire being we'll traded, be nothing too serious. 30 millimeter actually opening up. He's engaging a technical. Technical goes down. I think an RPG just actually hit the, the MTLB. 30 mils on fire. Yeah. 
an amazing yeah, round from the SBG truck. Managed to nail, manages to nail the SBG truck. Russia still making good ground over here in the west. I like how he put a buddy team up on this high hill, overwatching and ensuring that these squads are not running into any traps. Try and get at least a guy or two over there. I don't want everybody in this building. A lot of movement over here on this west, but militias completely conceded it one or two. Uh, to the Russians. There are a few wing scouts over here, one on the south and one on the north, uh, trying to do their best to get information. M Muff trying to engage. It actually looks like Muff is trying to run up behind the MTLB. He's getting a little aggressive here. We'll see if he's able to sneak in behind Russian lines. But yeah, Xbit just extremely disciplined and methodical in his approach. Has not moved squad one or squad two, and is just focusing on hitting that left yeah, flank on, and BFI. hitting it hard. Has an element moving to containers. Copy, copy. Don't do it yet. Uh, yeah, don't don't worry about pushing it then. Rockets going back and forth. That, uh, and just down. trading shots back and forth off of this hill. Xbit now holding the MTLB in reserve as it is one shot away from exploding. Dilby's but an right, excellent bro. methodical round by both commands. What, the guy died? I don't know why. Yeah, Xbit's just trying to get these guys in an L shape right here. As soon as he gets control yeah, over that left hill, Militia uh, will be in trouble. Right next to the blueberry, direct south of Muff. Copy that, southwest of train station. Here's like a fire team, maybe more. Copy, yeah, it looks like trying to circle in on us. Four, I need you to stay alive and stay together. You're going to be the guys to come Shots are spotted on, on this, uh, this squad over here in the south. Counter flanking theirs, I'm holding here. Sounds good. The squad is in a perfect position. Lots of high ground. All squads, if you guys are a doing beautiful anything, ob observation point for the Russians. Yeah, definitely. We need to get some some kind of eyes to the south. At least yeah, watch out. This corner. Uh, once three and four assault two will open up, suppress the north side. Let three and four get in there. Uh, once we. It is pretty far though. Moff taking shots at this squad. Okay, I saw three move. SKS fire coming in as well, but there's good cover here and a medic. Fed Mike Mike is back on the hill north. Copy that one. Is on him? I'm gonna see if I can't see there the blueberry. Be on a ridge. Oh no, they're farther, they're farther. Probably a hundred meters to his west. Maybe not. Alright, Grim, be advised. We probably have enemies flanking. Oh, did he get this guy? In between us and the buddy team I sent out. Make sure we're watching our west. Oh, he did. Look at that. The squad on the southwest losing momentum now. Maybe. The flank from Pony well, might have done a north good north amount. North oh, Muff gets spotted. Shots go out on Muff. I don't think he took a round, but he is running back now. Pony's flank did do a good amount of damage yeah, to, uh, West. Russian, of oh my god, did Muff just, I'm one tap, no, he's, he's okay. We're gonna try to chill out as much as possible in Bravo 6 here. It's Crispy getting shot at by Muff across the way, that's about a 300 meter shot. Looks like Militia's sending, oh! What's the bearing? Train station. It's Crispy gets shot once, but is not down. He's just bandaging up. He did take a round, though. And there's a buddy team from Militia trying to get off on the far east flank, trying to get a flank. This is uh, Tommy and Piddle trying to do what they can to get around Russia. Muff currently has enemies north and south of him. Copy that. North and south of him. 
Mari has at least four guys uh, close to him to the west. Uh, I mean, I've got my AR. Right. I can yeah. give him some. Incoming west. I got okay. one. We'll see if the Russians are paying attention. I'm using you as an indicator. See people might be near the door. Oh no, that's a friendly. Sorry, <laughs> Come on, come on. Say again. Russia just maintaining this observation uh, area. He does have an RPG and a Binox over here. This is uh, a combo for good long range damage as the squad leader can pick a target. The RPG has that range and that spread to uh, kill someone. Man, I feel like they're over here on the east side of the train station. We're definitely making steady prog progress on the west side. Stay vigilant on the Russians now have complete three, three, uncontested control over the lumber yard. Let's see if uh, he spots hey, this one guy running in the open. From the if he did. Marker, this is Muff Runs right here outside the compound, here. almost getting spotted by militia. RPG goes That's out, negative. misses. It's north of this as far as we can go. RPG Nowhere. returns, it's almost close. hits this squad on the west. Militia, uh, Russians actually taking over the, uh, the MG over here on the west that Militia had placed and are now using it against them. So Militia actually using, uh, Russia actually using Militia's own gun emplacement against them. This is some great overwatch. As you can see, this squad on the far west is, uh, engaging that scout all the way from over there. So they're covering that squad. Amazing coordination by these uh, squad leaders. And now this one scout ah! is getting shot at from the entirety of the Russian team. Let's see if he's actually alive still. He is, he's crawling. These two players, uh, we actually lost one Russian up here. But uh, yeah, there's so much action happening all okay, around right smoke? now. He's Russians still are holding that observation post, taking HMG fire from the base. They've taken over a militia uh, Dishka right here that they are manning and currently using get against the, cover, the cover, militia themselves. Russia still has that base of fire, that that infantry line. As you can see, that taken over Dishka now firing on that, that, that militia emplacement on the southeast. But Piddle coming in behind with Tommy. Let's see if they can do any damage. Shots trading between these two squads. There are casualties on both sides. Uh, fire team come up danger close to a southeast. Expit now map. jumping into uh, the 30 millimeter. At least one contact active. One, Who is it? this? Silent death watching the flank. How vigilant. 360 security, ladies and gentlemen. Making sure you're yeah, watching your flanks. Silent might be able to shut down Piddle and stick. Tommy's flank completely Probably. if he's paying enough attention. Yeah, just north of my, my uh, scout. Yeah, come on, be advised. trying to enter the FOB from uh, southwest. Copy, yeah, they, they have come into these front doors, so just watch these entrances. Dishka fire engaging all the way across the valley. That's about 500 meters. This is four. I'm most likely going down. Enemy still north of the road, right in between me and my buddy team. Copy that, Mark. Bridge, Piddle and Tommy six, now behind two full enemy squads. We'll see right, how much damage they're guys. able to do right now. Russia is still behind in the kills. So, uh, if they do enough damage, the militia guys. could go sweep go this pretty convincingly. Yeah, let one come up here and be the base. Yeah, we still got, uh, to east. What? Yeah, yeah, let one come up here and be the base. You go behind three and help three. Russia actually opting to pull off that hill on the south, the uh, southwest. Someone's over here. Someone's checking the flank. Oh, someone might have been spotted. Nope. They're just going to walk right by. Expert reanalyzing the situation, trying to find a good entry point. Realizes that that southwest hill is has no cover hey, to advance MTA, in. He's going to try to push along this ridge on, on the road. Florida command, what is status on train station? 
they're trying to probe us from our southwest and our north that like they're not getting close or they're not at the expert che- opting to leave that entire east side right open now. he's now pulling his entire team westbound do piddle and tommy have an rpg is the question No RPG here, and no RPG here. So there's no anti-tank capabilities from this buddy team to take out the uh, MTLB. Bravo 5, keypad 8. Lat, do you have eyes on it? Negative. I can hear you, I can hear you. This scout still doing massive amounts of damage up here. I can't believe he's still alive. How many kills? Who is this? Mari. Let's see how many kills Mari has. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Mari, 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 Mari. Where are you at, Mari? Mari is three kills with the, the SKS. Doing an outstanding amount of damage. Expert still taking it slow and methodical. He realizes that there is a line of sight cut that he can abuse right here as this hill block and trees block the majority of sight lines from train. He's going to try to push along this road close to the target i think these guys are still trying to engage mari they have no idea where mari is not a clue still long range engagements Forest across all sides right now tommy and piddle closing in on this russian squad they they will be able to wipe this entire fire team if they commit but it looks like they are slowly probing around this flank. Into a spot where we can use it. Uh oh. <laughs> Lot of movement. Xbit sends another squad over here to reinforce this southwest. So he's really going to try to press this west. Hit that shit! This SKS, Mari, still harassing on this flank. Right on that tracer. Right on that tracer. Both teams engaging back and forth. Russia putting an overwhelming amount of fire into the compound right now. Uh, let's see if they've actually managed to get anybody. I just anybody. put something up. I don't know what. I just put oh, something up in there. Oh, Militia no loses right. one vehicle. Fire coming in. What was that? What did they lose? Some kind of technical. Son of a bitch. There was no visual. No way to shoot it. So we will step up the firepower. Shots coming into the compound. There are emplacements on the top floor of the brick building. Merrick gunning at these guys. Sorry. And militia is getting crunched in here pretty close. Brown's coming into the doors. All right, thanks through that contact now. Russia now on this West Hill have, has control over this West Hill, pushing in. Let's see if Mari is still alive. I think he is. No, they finally got Mari over here. Good hunting by the Russians to find that SKS that was messing up their south. Now, complete control, complete uncontested control over this West. Piddle and Tommy still trying to work this northeast flank, but they have been outpaced. The majority of Russian infantry that was originally up here has already shifted to the southwest. So they have taken their time trying to be sneaky, trying to be uh, trying to be um, effective, but they have missed their timing. And the majority of the Russian forces have now pushed off in the southwest. I'm sure they're, they'll be able to inflict a good amount of casualties still. Oh, they might get one right here. Who is this? Exmit? They might be able to take out Russian command. Nope, still choosing to bide their time. They could have taken out Russian command right there. Oh, they might. They might do it right here. There's so much going on. I don't want to miss any of it. trying to creep in this MTLB. No one's watching Russian rear. And Xbit's gonna go down here momentarily. Xbit goes 
down. All right, this is why I talk about why sounds are so important. Because uh, if you don't pay attention to the sounds, like if you know you're playing Russia, you know you don't have a saw, you would have been able to instantly analyze that situation and know that there's someone behind you. So knowing sounds is extremely important. Knowing what assets you have and what kind of sound they make. Russian making great amount of progress on the south. They finally cleared out this south or this eastern team. Russia now has control over both hills, almost including the north hill. There is Tommy still up there on the north, causing damage behind enemy lines. They might be able to wipe this entire. Oh no! Someone, someone, someone knows. Who is that? Someone knows that they're up there. Still three from the original six, so three for one. Still pretty good trade up there. However, they are getting uh, pushed. Militia is getting pushed further and further back into the compound, getting more and more control, slowly and methodically taking all of the hills surrounding. They will have fishbowl militia inside the point. These guys gotta be careful as they run down the hill as there's discus uh, all around. Say again. Copy. Copy that boy. Looks what, like there was uh, uh, about four people still to the southwest, direct south on the border. What's over direct there? south, direct south. Burns the by the container. He's uh, he's the only members. one out Squadly here. Squadly looking northbound. He's uh, Bravo six. Copy. He's trying to bandage. Copy that, Bravo six. He pet you. Back into train station. There's so much going across. Cross. Across. A firm. I'm still up. I'm Copy. like on red health. I'm about to go down. South. Oh, I'm bandaged up, I just need to move into train. Yeah, I got one of my guys. I think they've all pushed off this hill, to be honest. All squads, be advised, you got enemy purple smoke to the southwest. You have friendly green smoke to the south. They're pushing up at the moment. They're currently 20 Eyes meters from the south. Me. Currently 20 yeah, meters 20 from 20 the south end. B546 MTLV. Uh, B549. Russia now trying to breach. They are taking fire from those containers. One squad leader goes down. No one's watching the corner. No one's watching the corner. Bravo four. Five nine. come on, the other side. Come on, like close. West. B549. Like MTLB four, is Bravo 5, keep that 4. MTLB like is Bravo 5, keep that 4. Fire team moving in on these containers. They're gonna clear out burns. I'm still chilling out here. If Excellent I communication by the Russians, call that out. They are on the south walls. And burns goes down. Russians now have pretty much complete uncontested control of the outside of the compound. Piddle is still up here, I think. Yeah, Piddle's still out here. Russians now just have to find a solid way to breach and enter the compounds. I think he's spotted. I don't know, we'll Mike see. Changing position. Copy that one. See what happens. Piddle mixed in here in the rear, but they are aware that there's someone to their back. As you can see, these Russians sweep in 360, trying to make sure they don't get flanked again. Two more frags, yeah. Well, Russia making good time. On this south, they now have complete control, pushing in. One, if 
you got eyes on that logic truck. We've got a, we've got an ID by that. Logic. And Russians have managed to change the pacing of this game pretty That'll significantly, overwhelming and surrounding methodically the outside of the compounds. No eyes, however. And then proceeding to take buildings and and uh, three, three. areas site by site. I'm clearing out that looking for. XF, there's a guy on your IED near the train. Ooh, IED goes off. Does it get anybody? Is the question. No, it does not. Unfortunately. It does, however, kill the militia's own launch. There's another ID placed. We're seeing where it goes. MTLB rolls in slowly. This... <laughs> this freaking... This Freaking scout car in the goddamn containers. <laughs> See if Piddle actually manages to take out. Oh uh, shit! They They're very close. Oh wait, he got him. Piddle got Termi. What exploded? I'm missing so much. Just... Oh, scout car, scout car down! Scout car down! Militia. The MTLB Don't manages to hit the scout car. Scout car. Russia, main objective completed. Let's see how many casualties they can complete the objective with. Oh! Rocket Man barely down. misses the MTLB. If they have a frag grenade, if anyone has a frag grenade, now would be the time to throw your frag grenades. This is the time to use fragmentation. Yes. Bad grenade. Bad. Shame. Shame, as in shame. 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 <laughs> Shame. How are you doing, Flea? Oh, ID goes off right next to the station. Doesn't actually get anybody. Maybe they were. Maybe they were. Maybe they got killed by that ID. I saw blood. I just, uh, I saw they were very blood. Just blood. Yes. Oh, Russia being sneaky using the stairs. Look at this. Oh, you. You sneaky. You sneaky thing, you. Who's that? Han fucking Solo using his noggin. Look at that. You Using using those angles. Using those angles. There you go. You gotta think outside the box. That's how you do it. Oh. But they were watching the stairwell, so he goes down. RPGs going inside the compound. Oh, there's an SBG techie right there. Alright, we're good. Yeah, I, I we wouldn't, I wouldn't well, Not everybody, but we'll get revenge for them. I don't know if I hit it. I've just been waiting an hour for them. someone to come around the door. They're coming. Or not. All right, go ahead. We have no squad leader now. Be be advised, guys. Be advised, we're out. Of, our squad leader is down. We are now attached to three. Oh, he missed. Oh, he got someone though. He got an infantryman, but he missed the truck. Oh, oh. Close, close. All right, it's got 30 Where are the frag grenades? You guys must have some frag grenades. Come on. Where are the grenades? 
There we go. You have a grenade. Come on. Come on. Yes. Don't. Don't you. Don't you. Yes. 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 What's up? Oh. It hit like three people though, and they're all bleeding now. What's going on over there? But it didn't kill anybody. But they're all bleeding. <laughs> oh no. That was a very good grenade. Oh, there we go. Technical down. Oh, work that angle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Make him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you see him. 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 <laughs> uh, someone's blind. Oh, grenade. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You better run. Ton of militia grenades coming out right now. Is Piddle still up there? Oh yeah, he's coming back now. You know, they could try to roll the MTLB in, but there's dishkis up in there. I was gonna say. They need frags. They didn't. They didn't. They 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 don't have enough frags to do this. I don't think they can breach this. Hey, XF, you come man the fifty over here. Yeah, I don't. Really I don't... Feel like it. There's not really enough explosives. <clears throat> they needed like all the frags. Oh, there's two guys here now. Maybe these guys have frags. Oh, trading shots. There goes a frag. I don't think it got anyone though. This guy just dancing with that guy. Just dancing with each other. Oh, there you go. Smoke grenade using your noggin. That's what it's all about, boys. Using your noggin. Using your tools. Using everything you have. Everything you have to get the job done. Frag grenades, smoke grenades, ladders, rocks, vehicles. You gotta use every single thing. Wow, that's a lot of grenades. If you're alive now, just hold your positions, wait for them to come hey, in. They're gonna smoke, me. let them. Yeah, Russians having a hard time breaching this thing. 30 millimeter is through the train car, you can see it. Through the train car, direct east. Yeah, yeah. Just so you, just so you know, he has sight lines on this doorway. Taking shots. All right, you guys gotta work on your frag gr or grenade throws. Piddle, is that Piddle? It's Piddle, isn't it? God, Piddle is a savage, isn't he? Ah. Uh, he's doing alright. He's freaking out now. He's freaking out as his MDLB rolls up next to him. Can I get a guy to, can I get a guy to dig the mine to the fucking entranceway here? Does the driver see him? Oh, oh, what are you doing? Who is that? Who is that? Shame! Shame, Merrick! Shame! 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 Oh, Piddle took a round right there. Wall. Oh, Piddle, yeah, Yo, he's got a- Oh, he's throwing a frag. Nah, that's what they yeah, I no, he's bandaging. Right, send it right- Somebody killed uh, Piddle line. already, jeez. Yeah. 
Come on, you can get him. Good shit. Yeah. Got him. Oh. Uh, there's more north, more north. Well done, guys. Well done. That engine's so loud, he's not gonna hear who is this silent coming up behind him. We're down to two Russians here. Oh, that's why he got out. There was a mine. Still, shame. Shame. One time, Sky, where the 30 mic is. The 30 mic is coming down the main alley. He's coming down the main alley right now. You're gonna get a perfect shot. Yeah, I got one left. You got one left. Well, I mean, it's, it's hit, so I mean, we might be able to kill it with one. It was on fire, so. Hit him, hit him, hit him! Main entrance left. Hit him! <laughs> Boom! Fucking get the guy to down. You gotta watch for those vertical plays, boys. Those vertical plays. Yet. And that's GG. Oh, Russia like completes their main objective, what destroys the scout car, but suffers massive casualties while doing so. Thank you all for tuning in. We're gonna be talking a little bit post-stream. But uh, that concludes round two of squadops.gg Operation Fallen Tree. Good game, guys. I got wrecked. We had a great round from round one, from round two. Russia completing objectives on both rounds, failing completely. We're going to try to pull a couple of these guys in for interviews, a couple of the uh, platoon leaders or squad leaders, so that you guys can get a little interaction with them. I want to talk about our giveaway. Make sure you enter our squadops.gg giveaway for a squad key. We do it at every month. You can enter in the twitch.tv slash squadops, the channel. The chat has a link to the giveaway so if you're looking to win squad head over to squad uh, twitch.tv slash squad ops if you want to watch more squad head over to youtube.com slash squad ops if you want to learn more about our operations how to join how to play with us and what squad ops is as an organization check out squad ops.gg we're still going to try to pull a couple of these guys in here to interview once again my name is uh karma cut i'm the founder and director over at squad ops i'm very happy to have pen here mixing the streams Big shout out to Penny, does so much work behind the scenes. But I want to recognize that. Uh, great fellow. He's a great uh, mixer. He does great work. Thank you so much to Penn. Thank you so much to the whole content creation team and everyone at Squad Ops for volunteering your time and work to the platform. We really do appreciate it. And thank you to the viewers. Thank you so much to the viewers. We have, uh, we're trying to get a couple people in here for uh, interviews. Hang on here. XF, XV, and Shadow Ritual. Oh, XV and Shadow Ritual joining us here in the post game lobby. Let's talk about that round two. That round two was one of the most exciting runs I have ever seen in Squad Ops. Just watching that line form on the north and south side of the roads and watching engagements all across that line, I have to say, was probably one of the most enjoyable spectacles I've ever seen at Squad Ops. How did you, I know Expert was extremely methodical, but what exactly, uh, Shadow, what was your thinking there as you started to, to see that massive line form on your north? Oh, it was, it was definitely intense. Like, at first we had no idea where they were. We had, we had like, uh, reports of contacts on the northeast and on the southwest, but I didn't know they were direct north for the longest time. I guess the guys on the northwest kind of just connected that line. And it was just insane how that BTR, or sorry, the MTLB, the 30 mil MTLB, was just able to just lay down fire and just keep us pinned down for so long. And we, we were running back and forth for a lot of that. Like, I had my, the hat, we had one hat on the, the uh, platoon for the militia side, and he just ran from one end of the line to the other, I believe, like twice, just looking for this MTLB, trying to get it. I saw that SBG truck had one amazing shot at about 300 meters and was able to connect with that MTLB. That was an amazing shot. Who was, do you know who made that shot? Um, his name started with an M is like Mar Marty or something like Mari that. Mari Eats um, Kids? Yeah, no, no, it wasn't, it wasn't Mari. It was, he was a regular, or not, he wasn't a regular, like he was just somebody who's been in our ops before and he nailed that first shot and then we just, he just couldn't see for the next one. Like the, the MTLB just kept moving and he kept getting in depth laid. We just couldn't get a good line on for that second shot. 
Well, like, hats he, off to it him. It was a, definitely a good shot on that, that first shot. Mm -hmm. Like he, we heard it was on fire, and that was like that relieved so much pressure knowing that 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 M2 was gonna play so much safer now that it's taken that one last shot. Expit, I know you are a very methodical platoon leader and and i could see that really in this form as you slowly progressed your squads up while maintaining that base of fire in overwatch what was your thinking as soon as you found out that it was in train uh worst plan i mean well it's <laughs> the, the one location i dreaded i i i don't like train so <laughs> of course it was the you know the last place we checked and of course it was train so yeah, well, I gotta it's... say, you executed it beautifully. The only thing that was that 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 came down at the end was the breaching. The breaching was the one thing that uh, I think really, really showcased how important it is to watch those vertical angles, to use your frag grenades, to use your lats, and to make sure you have those tools when breaching. But I have to say, while pushing to the objective, you took land and time and ground periodically and methodically away from Shadowed, and you could very easily see how that was happening and how that was working it was extremely effective but i think when you got killed by that those two that flankers the flankers you could see yeah. a lot of the command broke down and that breaching and that aggression kind of slowed down but off of that until you got dropped i have to say that was some amazing command and making sure that you slowly and method like i could see i could like if i ever if someone ever showed me that play i would have been that's x bit squad uh could commanding right there because it was very obvious to me that how methodical and how planned that was yeah we had we had really good squad leads and i knew sitting on top of that hill i was like you know they're gonna come up behind us i just have this feeling <laughs> sure enough yeah but that was amazing and shout out i think you held a great defense that round two making sure that you had those dishkas those dishkas did so much damage watching those doors you have no idea it was disgusting um, and then round one, when you were uh, assaulting Shadowed, I, I thought that that first push into the mine was extremely cinematic. You could see all the smoke. You saw two squads worth of infantry. And you were able to execute that aggression while pushing mine. You were able to get in there and get in there fast. And you pushed every entrance. And it was a beautiful execution. But the one thing that messed you up on that round one was that IED in the yeah, corner. That IED, IED was disgusting. Yeah. Yep. Definitely. And and that's the thing in, in pre ops, like and given the brief, like that's like that's my my fear is just like mines and IEDs, those scouts, they, they can swing a game like in a in a snap. They like if a well placed mine takes out your vehicle or if a, a well placed IED takes out six of your guys, like the swing is just insane. Mm -hmm. And yeah, shout outs to the scout who got those kills because he definitely he he won it for them on that, that round. That was a that was a amazing round for sure. I like that round. Best pony and piddle. Best pony, what were you, how how close were you to browning your pants when that entire squad passed you on that west? Uh, honestly, it was it was far too close. That was the most frightening thing I've ever experienced in squad ups. That was uh, uh oh oh my god. They, they literally I saw them coming, I relayed to my commander and to my squad that I was going to die and that the enemy was right on top of me, and then I froze and watched as all nine people just walked right on by. That was insanely epic. And Piddle, you as well, with the flanker squad. You have been around, I've seen you on multiple ops, Mistwalker, and, and many others where you're able to just get that positioning, get that flank, and do some massive damage. How, as an opposing player, would you say to counter yourself? Uh... Well, get a techie and just dome me. Uh, on the first round, I definitely got wrecked by that. Um, usually, I'm just kind of like a passive player. So, uh, but I obviously when I got a clutch, I come in and I clutch. <laughs> so, well, great, great, yeah. uh, great positioning and great shooting piddle. You were able to drop a lot, including command, and completely dismantle that northern flank. So good job on Piddle and uh, Pony for playing those good positions. Thank you to Xbit and Shadowed for commanding. You can see the aggression from Shadowed and the methodical commanding from uh, Xbit. And uh, really put on a great show tonight. I must say, this is one of the most amazing squad off matches I have witnessed in a long time. Yeah, thank you, uh, squad ups. I uh, have had so much fun here now that I've joined. It's a, it's a real great time. My heart's still pounding when the MTOB <laughs> showed up. So can't get that anywhere else. I'm glad else. to hear that. All right, boys, we're going to sign it off here. Everyone watching the stream, thank you so much 
to everyone that participated today. Muff, Benbot, uh, Burns, Crazy Russian, Han Solo, Xbit, Merrick, uh, XF, Crispy, and Shadow. Thank you so much for your cameras. Um, thank you for the squad leads. Thank you to content creation. Thank you to everyone who works uh, as a squad ops staff member. We really do appreciate your effort and time. And thank you to all the viewers for giving us an audience to put a show on for, for being uh, very supportive and active in the chat. We love seeing your responses. We love putting on a good show for you guys. But thank you so much. Once again, if you want to see more squad ops, check out youtube.com slash squad ops, twitch.tv slash squad ops, and check out squad ops.gg for more information on the platform as a whole. Thank you all, everybody, and we'll see you next time.